hello everyone! This is Angel Terry here with some more Free Nights, the Skull of Smackdown. When we had last left off, whew, we found uh, poor Sheila murdered in the bottom of the, of the uh, windmill. So, apparently it allegedly could have been somebody from Florentine's group. So right now, until Florentine finds out more information, we have to, you know, do a couple more things. So, well, pretty much keep ourselves busy until Florentine finds out what's going on. So we are checking out the Hobgoblin area. You know, trying to do more in there because we never finished that. And because after that, I will be doing the Lizardman one. Okay, so. And of course, I didn't do what I said I was going to do because I'm a dingleberry. That's all right. We'll do it as we go along. Booby trap. Oh, snap. Flame spout trap. Oh. There we go. I don't even know what I was for, but <laughs> I ain't gonna find out. Is it on you? Claymore, Tomahawk, Bottled Quickness, Battle Dart, and an Intermediate Spellstone. Very nice. Okay. Whoa, there's a person out there. But we also found out last time is that I can actually save the uh, my spells I have on the quick slots in the higher versions of them. So let's see here. Now I have to wait until I'm actually in battle to do some of them. Okay. What about this door? Oh, you turned! You just took a swing at me. I think for this. See, because I'll be fair, we get to be beefy. Uh, that costs an immediate, intermediate spell stone. But I think that will help us right now. Okay, you. Because I got him a beefy life flow. I think that's what I'm going to use right now. Uh, Chloe, now. You were knocked out of your fate. Thank you, Timer. Now, what I need is some type of mass damage stuff. Uh, it's just one. Acid spray. No. This is book ceiling. I don't know why I can't guess it. Mass gas? Yeah, let's do some mass gas. Ah, good. Alright. Get that stuck for a while. Let's get some pissed off flowers going. Shoot it, Gert. It's gotta go. Sneaky, sneaky on you. Oh, damn. They, they're not hitting too bad. Like I said before, don't let your guard down. If, 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 if enough of them constantly hit you, you're going to die. Okay. Oh, missed that one. Shoot. Two down. Nice. Right. Hmm. Okay. Gotta get some healing on Benji Man. Also, seen as a rest, too. Wish it did. Because some games, I think if you like defend, you get like a little bit of like mana or whatever back. Okay, you're taking a beating there, sweetheart. I need. No, not negligible. It's just impalpable, anyway. There we go. 
Whew. Two-headed flail. Stiletto, heavy leather armor, chain shirt, chain shirt, battle axe. Okay, this looks interesting. Let's uh, come over here. First off, we're going to save before we do anything, because just in case they don't come sneaky up on me bum bum. Two-headed flail. A flail with two spike balls on chains, because two heads are better than one, right? Yes, indeed. Heavy leather armor. A hauberk made of hardened leather. Stiff to move around in, but takes a blow, so your thick skin won't have to. Uh, dirky dirk. Six, six. Armor four. Sh shoot. All right. Can you wear this, Benjamin? Leather jerkin two, two. No priest penalty. Oh, sweet. Yes, a little more armor for my good old Benji mans. Excellent. I don't know what to do with Chloe, because I'm really afraid to give her armor. Honestly. Because, um... A lot of them really have some major sorcery penalties. Okay. Where do you find something to buy? So what do we got here? We have a very large room. Oh, this is like a, um, a bunker or some shite. Combined footlocker. Uh, nothing great. Padded armor. Booby traps good. Heavy linen armor, beaten shield, fireproof. I'm bulletproof. I'm not on any of these. Hang on, I want to check. Is it not on any of these things? No. Okay, so this is pretty much where the hobgoblins live. All right, so let's check upstairs. Ah, more. Basic spellstone, explosive powder. I didn't check that because I'm a moron and I wasn't thinking. No, go away. Javelin, potion, pathway, chem. Oh, oh no, chemical grenade. I'm trying to save them now because um, that's negligible healing. That's crap. I'll give one to you. And you. You take the beefiness. Palpable healing. You have three. Okay. Alchemical grenades. You were holding on to them. Very good. Now I feel like I'm getting some. All right, so interesting. So that was just like where they live. Here we go. Uh, yeah, now I feel like I'm getting stuff done here. Yeah, making some progress. It can be a little bit, um, it can be upsetting when you're playing a game and, you know, you just feel like you're not getting anywhere. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So making progress is always good. Okay, so now we need to go this way to where this little dude is in the middle. You're blocking the way I want to go, mister. Ow. Whoa, that one killed it. Cry 
crossbow! Sweet. Alright. Well, we definitely need to get some beefy life flow on Dirk. Good job. Okay. Alright, they're gonna be throwing all their damn things out. Excellent. So let us heal. Some heels up in this. There we go. Now. Ha! Huh. I got it. Oh, I didn't get that time. I swear, some of these guys have like really high magic defense. Why the hell did you wake up? I didn't tell you wake up. Oh no, they're all waking up. God damn it. That's not good. Trip the fan to work. Yes, excellent. Yeah, a lot of times his trip to fan has not been working. I need to get them some mana back. You woke up again, you freaking turnball. Oh wow, apparently he doesn't like flowers. Or angry ones. Or getting his face melted off. Or throwing out chemical grenades. F you, is what I just want to say to that. Oh, come on, how many, how many freaking grenades do these people have? I swear they all threw one. I'm throwing like a F and gazillion of them. Sorry, I just find that really effing annoying. Ugh. Ow. Turd. See, at least I'm doing a bit more damage than when I first came here when I was like, uh. There we go. Oh, come over, grenade, liquid nap, potion, crossbow, and potion of negligence. Right, let's come in here. I want to come in here. Always want to come inside before I rest and save. Okay. Before we do anything, Dirk needs a beefy life flow on him. No, stop. This is going on Chloe. Very good. See, so if you do the beefy life flow or whatnot before you rest, they'll heal through your rest so you don't have to heal at the same time. All right, so what do we got here? Chest of drawers. A quick search reveals that Hop Rebel officers do prefer briefs rather than boxers. The party files this away under information we never, ever wanted to know. Well, at least you know. There's a door there. Oh, for Christ's sake. Hang on a minute. Okay. Quitting in mid... I didn't read that before. Quitting in mid-combat means you can't continue from there. That's interesting. Sorry, I'm going to do that because that was my stupidity not to freaking uh, check for traps. Just because they say there's no traps at the time in that room when you check does not mean there's no traps on a chest nearby. Keep that in mind. Okay, so that's lesson learned, so I, I can't do that anymore. If I do that anymore, then I will spank myself. So what we do is this. Okay. Alright, good. We learned. Robe of Accuracy, Brains in a Jar, Potion of Vocalization, and two Battle Darts. Okay. 
Now definitely, what's these robes? Clearly, okay, kind of effect. Those who wear robes on the battlefield should probably not be on the front lines. But at some point, some spell lobber decided that tossing destructive forces of nature into the midst of his foes just wasn't enough, and enchanted this robe to give him a little odds of actually connecting with physical attacks. And this robe was the result. Sounds good to me. You use brains. Brains in the jar. Here, have another alchemical grenade. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're now we're cooking gish. Okay. So yeah, when you're okay, so it's locked. Heavy lock door. Okay. Even after you pick it, save it. <laughs> I'm saving this all the time now. I'm trying to do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have a commander in here. Okay. So we have a wizard, a hobgoblin, one officer, and Commander Crumpus. Now I don't know what Commander Crumpus do. Does. The Hobgoblin Officer is pretty... Uh, the Hobgoblin Officer has the Alchemical Grenades and he attacks twice. The Wizard apparently does wizardy things. So... A regular Hobgoblin is just crap. Alright, so we gotta take our time here. Alright, Chloe. What we're gonna do is we're going to start putting people to sleep. You never like going to sleep, so it doesn't matter. Okay, he does some heavy damage. He does some heavy damage. Uh, get some heals on Chloe. Life flow on you. All right, let's get a cheat sheet in here, shall we? Commander Crumpus. All right, what do we got on you, little stinky butt? Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin Commander. As Hobgoblin officers gain their position by bullying and and coercion, the commander of the Hobgoblin operations here was the biggest, toughest Hobgoblin of the detachment. He was successful enough in his operations, and fair enough to his troops, that none dared defy him openly, and brutal enough that most feared to undermine him secretly. While his demise will certainly lead to a temporary power vacuum, and possibly a permanent end to any negotiations and deals he made with other races here, it won't be long before the hobgoblins rise again as a threat. Okay, so he does also still have alchemical grenades. <sighs> okay. No. All right. Now, my best bet then is to I would say I would say kill the wizard. I want to get rid of him first. A little low on those. So Man. Whoa, what the hell? Bitter chill. Jeebus. The fudge enough was that spell? Was that a counter spell? Because that annoyed me. There are some games where. Enemies will do counter spells. Excellent. All right, let's get some resting in here because I want to hit the hobgoblin officer next.
So hopefully then all we have left to deal with is the commander. Ah! Really? Really? Are you going to be a dick and you're just going to keep throwing those damn things? Uh, beefy life flow. Uh, you're a little lower, Ariana. Woo! Double turn! Oh, you suck. And a beefy life flow on Chloe. All right, so you're left, Mr. Poopy Pants. Let's see how long you stay asleep while I do some quick resting here. Ah, ooh. oh, I got staggered. Let's get a holy shield on Chloe. Cannot ripen your flesh. No, not that. Um, where was peel armor? Damn it! Mister, with that too. Oh, are we going to do all chemical grenades all day now? Turd. There we go. Chain shirt, fine flanged mace, round shield, a chemical grenade, potion of negligible healing. Very nice. God damn, there's more? Hebers. Um, okay. Ugh. Stinks. Alright. Notes or anything? Chest in the corner. Intermediate Spellstone, Potion of Vision, Chrysanex, Potion of Negligible Healing, Brains in a Jar, and Three Explosive Powder. I'm definitely going to have to go visit the dude for some of our chemical grenades if I'm getting all these damn explosive powders. But I don't know if he... I didn't find out if he charged money or not. Hi! Wherever the hell you came from. <laughs> Like just there. It's like hiding behind the table. I didn't see him behind the table. Like ha ha. Oops. You lost your head. Now what was the name of the commander we just defeated? This takes a little while. Hang up a second. I'm actually looking up something here. Because it didn't, oddly enough, unlike most other um, things, it didn't give a name in the. Um, there we go. Commander? I'm going to write this down for my neat title. K-R-U-M. Commander Krumpus. Yeah, normally they they listed the uh, names of the commanders and stuff in the journal when you... Why is there a door here? Is there something spoopy behind here? Am I gonna poop myself? There was no booby trap! Dirk! You failed. At life. <sighs> dark, 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 dark. Oh, what the hell is this? Alright, I gotta read what this is. Mysterious runes. Okay, what's this? Runes. Thanks, Dirk. Gee, thanks, Dirk. I'd never have guessed. <laughs> So, what do they say? They are arcane words! Words with power! 
Come on, people. Do this right. There, arcane words of power. Like a spell? Mm, part of one. Kind of. But not a general spell. I need the rest of them, and they seem to be designed to activate something. Do you need to write them down to memorize them? Question mark? No, I'm committing them to memory like I always do. I make a song out of them. A s song? Yes, like pretty pretty horses running all their courses. Elysium Nilari left limited absurdly. I don't even know the word she just said. The temperature of the room quite perceptibly raises several degrees. Okay, Chloe, you still scare me sometimes. But actually what Chloe says is um pretty true because a lot of um schools now and people are trying to say when you learn instead of just trying to do it straight out like blah blah you make a rhyme out of it or you make a song out of it or you um what was one of the things like you you put like a picture to it or something you know find the find a particular way that help you memorize things me too i love it yeah you're weirder topic runes of oh we got more runes of anarchy In the Hobgoblin Bunker, we discovered some runes that look like they go to some kind of mystic message. Chloe has memorized it, and is writing music to go with it. We have discovered some mystic runes marked on the wall of a dungeon. It looks like it is one of a multi-part rune sequence. We'll have to find the rest. Oh, fascinating. Okay. Booby trap! Well, at least you saw that one, you... Oh, I do not want the goblin flu! Alright, so this is a trigger. Thank you, timer. Oh. It's used to slow and goo the trap's components slow, making it easier for you to work with. The danger level has been reduced. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty interesting. Chip. Part of my French. Okay. One moment, everyone. Okay. Hey, got it. Not that flu, though. Pointy had a smart crackle scroll and a scroll of consequential healing. All right. Let's finish this up here. Pointy Hat of Smarts. This Pointy Hat offers scant protection for the head, but makes the wearer feel smarter. And offer more, and might offer protection from falling houses, but we're not sure of that. <laughs> Alright, so you're the smarts, right? Yeah. Crackle Scroll, definitely give that to you. Consequential Healing, that's yours. Brains in the jar. It's for you. I think. No, wait. Wait a minute. Brains, 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 brains in the jar. No, your brains. My bad. Okay, everyone. That's, uh... That is a fair amount of uh, stuff we got done. I will say that. Let's give that to Benjamin. Because we found a word, so I wonder if there's another word maybe in the Minotaur Cave or in the um, Lizard Man area. So we're going to have to go check that out. So, this is Angel Terry. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye!